Behold, Halloween Veal, where every ghost worth his sheet loved a good scare. If you manage to spook someone out of their treats, then by George, you've done your job. However, that was before the moon goddess vanished, and sly General Monkey played a real trick on Halloween Veal. He ousted the town's mayor and the ghastly mayoral family from their haunted house, converted the building into a laboratory, and once settled in, Monkey began doing things to the town's produce. You see now the awesome scrumptious tastiness of Monkey's pumpkin creations? The first bite is heaven, but then the cookie crumbles! <laughs> the Moonstone Shards are back in our clutches! The Moon Bear King will be most pleased! Uh, you'll pay for this! Uh, give those back! Wait! I would be mad to give up this kind of power! <laughs> Think of the experiments I could conduct! Not while I'm around! <laughs> round indeed! I, monkey, shall use these moonstone pieces in my experiments! Now make like a banana and peel! You creep! Nobody cracks jokes like that on lives! I'll get you! Just as soon as I can find my toes! Oh, <laughs> Now that is perfect! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor plump dears. What a shame on you! The stuff in your piggy little faces! You can yell at us later! That ape ran off with our moonstone shards! This is horrible. Those stones have the power to restore magic and memory, but now you've messed everything up! Kotaro, you are a special boy, especially stupid! Stop lecturing us! Change us back to normal if you want our help! Oh, but magic can only undo magic. You may have been charmed into eating those sweets, but the sweets themselves when you smell. You pig out, you get fat. That's just nature. Wait, what does that mean? You can't fix us? We'll be chubs forever? I said magic can't fix you, dummy! You got yourself fat, now get yourself thin! But it can't be that easy! Oh, nothing is ever easy. And I'm gonna make sure this isn't... Ow! <laughs> Stop it, you <laughs> Get sweating, porky! Time's a-wasting! Oh, all I need is the moonstone and calibrus. It's all I need. You know you could just give up and stay an ugly, pathetic witch forever. Yang Yang! So, the witch is the one pulling the strings. This awesomely juicy morsel should come in handy. <laughs> General Monkey's tasty trap had turned our poor hero into the Lord of Lard. From shrimp... And did he ever! <laughs> Sorry, let's just say he raced into a slimmer future, flab jiggling in the winds of change. Kutaro had plenty of pounds to spare as he demolished rock, bridge, and foe. His globe-like body was a microcosm of his struggles, as if some mini Kutaro was slicing away with Calibrus at the layers of fat. Your greatest enemy is yourself. All of human history can be traced along our waistlines. Agriculture and then food storage eventually separated men into the plump and the poor. Call it fatocracy. <laughs> to narrow the divide between the fats and the fat knots, someone had the bright idea to ration food out. It was called communism. Want bread? Line up. Don't be like those unhealthy patocrats. But communism ultimately lost out, 
No five-year plan could wean people from the temptation of all that caviar and vodka. It was hard work, but Kutaro shed the pounds. Having doffed his mantle of corpulence, he could once again squeeze into his place amongst heroes. Yes! At the end of his pot-bellied, uh, stout-hearted slog through self-imposed emaciation, Kutaro had wandered right into Halloween veal. Oh, this is much better. I can see my top- Give me candy, or die! Um, I don't think that's how Halloween works. The pumpkin monster attacked with vicious geezers of cream filling. At this rate, Kutaro and Picarina would be drowned. If we get the cream off the roof, we might be able to slam the house back to normal. I feel sick. Ugh, I haven't seen this much projectile vomit since my sorority days. You'll never escape! He's creaming the houses! Fix them so we can keep going! <laughs> I will crush you! There was no safe haven for our dashing duo. Halloween Veal was clearly out to get them. Ah! Is there no Lack of orthodontists, Kutaro and Picarina avoided almost certain gnashing. I'll chew you yet! Are the candies? A whole smorgasbord of them! Whose side are you on, candies? And if they keep his mouth open. Trap you forever! This time, the pumpkin monster kept his jaw clamped shut, leaving neither nook nor cranny to crawl out of. They were trapped. Let's just get away from the teeth! Now this looks like a nice mushy cavity! Slam it to pieces! Oh, oh. You monster! 
Monsters. I guess the moral here is, think about what you eat. Otherwise, your food might kick you in the teeth. Remember, cavities can lead to bad breath, gum disease, loss of hearing, and death. Don't forget to make that dentist appointment. Loss of hearing? That's a new one. Here we go! Hello, cavity! <laughs> See what happens to gluttons for punishment? That was experience talking. that only worsened the pumpkin monster's depravity. He was done savoring. This was one meal that needed to die and be forgotten. of everyday life. My soul will never be free. That's crazy talk. We just freed you big time. I am Nebula. Nebula Oblongata. The existential wanderer of the cosmos of the soul. And yet, prisoner of the fleshy coils of my impending adolescence. You're a ghost? So is everyone in Halloween. People insist I am the mayor's daughter, but they are deceived by illusion. They do not realize I am a ray of blazing light in a galaxy of darkness, cast out by the gods and saddled with this cage you ordinary fools would call a body. Um, that's nice. Well, if you're the mayor's daughter, maybe you've seen this guy, this monkey guy? He totally swiped our goods and we want him back. Yes. The Simeon is conducting experiments in the haunted house in the center of town. The place I called my literal home. Well, Kitaro, let's go! Wait! What? <gasps> oh, don't do that! General Monkey has transmogrified the haunted house into a laboratory. It is a fell crucible of tin and iron, a portentous labyrinth of tubes and tinctures. To set foot inside would be to bring down the hammer of your own doom. Unless, of course, you enter through the unspeakable door. Unspeakable? You just spoke it. So, I take it you know where the door is? Yes, it was my literal home. Then could you, uh, show us? Impossible. Monkey stole my key to the unspeakable door. Of course he did. But not the mayor's. Okay, great. So where's the mayor? In the one place where the haggard robes of mortality can be shrugged aside. Upon the golden bridge that separates life from death. Right. And translation? The graveyard. <laughs> 